Hello everyone, today we are going to implement push notifications and if we click on the push notifications we want to navigate to different screens. So in the last two videos we implemented already push notifications and I have shown to you how you can handle your messages over the console, how you can do it via HTTP requests, how you can write to different topics and so on. So check the last two videos out if you want to get to know more about Firebase messaging. And this is the app which we ended in and now we want to handle our navigations. Alright, therefore I go here outside of my application first of all, then we are going to create in our console this command where we send it to our device and now I send it here to our device a new message and like you can see we got one or even two I don't know why maybe there's an error however we got this message and what I want to do is when I click on this then we should navigate to a different screen so right now if we click on it we will go to the initial screen which we had before and after we have clicked on it, we got again to this application here. So now we want to care about that we are going to different page, which we then specify in our data. So just to remember, here is our data, which we sent to our application. This is first sent to the Google APIs and from the Google APIs, they send it to this application here. And what we want to do is we want to have different routes and we will name them with first or second and then we want to go to these different routes. Therefore we want to create here some routes. So we go here, create a new directory and inside we create two pages, so the first page. And we also created here the second page and I have created here a stateless widget where we have a scaffold and the title is shown in the app bar and also there's another first page where we say like first page in the text app bar. All right, now we can continue with the logic and therefore we want to create a new method in our messaging widget. So I go here and create this new method, which is called handle routing. And what we want to do is like, we want to take our title, which we sent in our data. So we have here our data, here is our notification, which is this attribute here and inside we have our title and our body and we want to check our title and if it's first or second then we want to go to a different route. All right, so here we check if this is a title and if it's first then we want to go to the first page. So I will import it here and if we have here in our title a second then we go to the second page. And the last thing what we need to do is to wire this up. So we have to call this method inside of our onResume. This onResume function is every time called if our application is in the background. However, it is still open. So let's test it out. So I will hot restart our application. And what we want to do is like we want to send a new message to our Firebase. And therefore I send here the title second and I will just send it. And like you can see, we got this here in our push notifications. And if we tap on it, nothing will happen because you have to remember if you take the on resume function or the on launch function there will be never something in the notification itself so we will put our data which we want to send to this application here into our data property and what we do then is to set the title and the information about our navigation which is in this case second to our data property because the data property is received within our application and the notification itself is not received. And now we have sent it to our application. You will see here again that there's like second. And if we click on it, you will see that he has opened the on launch function. So this is not what we want to do. Let's do it again. And now if we send the message again, he will definitely go to the on resume function because the app is now open in the background. And now you see this push notification again, which we have sent to our application. And if we click on it, you will see that we ended up in the onResume function and therefore we also ended in this second page. So we navigated via our push notifications, which is pretty cool. And of course you can set this thing here, our routing to other methods. So every time we launch our application with our push notification, you can also set it here with this routing. 
and also if we are inside of the app like this and then we get a notification then this property is executed and you can also then do like a navigation to this new route and if you put like here handle routing into every property of our firebase messaging configuration then you will make sure that we will definitely go to this new page when we send a new message to our application via the console. So again, this is the message which is received within our app when it is open like this. The on launch function is if our app is closed and then we get a notification and click in the system tray. And the on resume is if our app is opened, however it is in the background like this, then it will go to the on resume function. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye!